Facebook. I just wanted to show you something. Um, I want to show you how to do a cube root on an abacus. And there's an algorithm an inventor from China invented called, uh, his name is Li Kai Chin. And it works. I'll show you how it works. But we'll start with binary first. Binary is just ones and zeros, or on and off. So let's see, you have 64, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 zeros, and the 7th place has a 1. You start off with a 1 in each one of these boxes. There's three boxes, 1, 2, and 3. I separate them by these hair ties. So we'll start off with a 1 in each box. And now we're going to subtract this middle box from this number. So that's 1. So we subtract 1 from 64, which is 63, or 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And now we add another 1 to this number, which makes it a 2. Now we move that 2 over to this number, which makes it a 3. Now we do one more 2, which is a 4, and put in that 4 to this 3. And now we have a 7, 1, 1, 1. So we subtract that 1, 1, 1. And now we start off again with a 1. Move that 5 over, put in an 8, minus 3. And then we put in another 2, that's a 7. So we're going to put in a 16, minus 9 which is one zero zero one one and we're going to subtract that number from this number so three minus eight is five and we just minus that one which is a sixteen that leaves us with one zero zero one zero one so we add a one to this seven which makes it an eight which is one zero 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 and we put in that eight And then we put in a 2, which is 1010, zero, one, zero, which is either 10 or A. So we're going to put in a 1 here. And we put in a 1 here. And that makes it 100101. Zero, zero, one, zero, one. And you see they're both the same 100101. Zero, zero, one, zero, one. So you cancel it out. Now, with this 10 or A, which is 1010, zero, one, zero, we put in a 2, so that will be B or C, 1100, zero, zero. and we divide 12 or C by 3, that leaves us with 4, 100, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. I know that sounds really confusing, but I think that's how the inventor discovered this, because he first did it in binary. So if we have 64 in decimal, 64, we start off with a 1 in each one of these boxes. Subtract that 1 from 64. Now we put in another 1. Carry that 2 over. Put in a 2. Carry that 4 over. That's 7. Minus 7 is 56. Now we put in another 1, which is a 5. Carry that 5 over. Then we put in another 2, which is a 7. Put that 7 over. And that's 19. Now we subtract 19 from 56, which leaves us with 37. Now we put in a 1 with that 7, mix it to 8, add the 8. Put in a 1 with the 2 with that 8, mix it to 10. You see how they're both 37. So you subtract that 37 from this 37. And now we're going to add a, a 2 to this 1, 0, or 10, and divide it by 3, and that makes it a 4. The cube root of 64 is 4. Now I also wanted to show you in hexadecimal that it still works. This algorithm still works in a different number system. This abacus has 2 on the top and 5 on the bottom, which would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, ignore that one for now, push this one down was 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
And now this is where it's different. Two fives make an A or a 10. Then 11 or B. C, D, E, F. And then one zero. So if we had 64 in hexadecimal, we could figure that out by binary, which is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. You count off with a nibble, which is four places of binary, which is 0. And the other one is 4. 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 1, 0, 0. So that's 4 in hexadecimal. 64 is 40 in hexadecimal. So we start off with, again, two ones. Subtract one from 40 in hexadecimal, or four zero, and that give us three F. Then we put in a one, carry that two, put in a two, carry that four, and that's minus seven from F, gives you three eight. Put in a 1 on that 4, move that 5 over. Put in a 2, which is a 7, move that 7 over. So I'm going to put in a 1, 0, and minus a 9. And then we subtract 1, 3 from that number, which leaves us with 2, 5. So we're going to put in a 1 with that, one, with that 7, that's an 8. So we put in an A or a 10, subtract 2, then we put in a 2 with that 8, which makes it A. So I'm going to put in a, a 10, 1, 0, and I'm going to minus a 6, and you see how they're both 2, 5. Subtract the 2, 5. So we have an A or a 10, put in 2, which makes it 12 or C, divide by 3, and that makes it 4. So no matter what number system you use, this algorithm works to extract the cube root from a number. Hope that wasn't too confusing, but I just wanted to show you how this works. Okay, have a good day, Facebook. Thank you.